really see how one person can make such a big difference by giving back? I see how you're, what you mean. One person can make a huge difference by doing stuff like being a mentor. But I'm still want, but I think I would make more of a difference by going to a football game! <laughs> It's more about giving back to give thanks. Okay, let's move on. Unfortunately, the staff of the Reddick Food Bank was unable to be here because they were too busy giving back to give thanks. So instead, we have two representatives that volunteer there that will accept our donations. Give it up for Miranda Nestor and Mia Pepe. Welcome, Mia and Miranda. We're so glad that you could come. Tell us, when did you start volunteering and why? We heard that the food pantry was looking for recruits to volunteer, so we decided we'd try it out, and we've been loving going, so we go ever since. <laughs> what do you do when you guys are at the food pantry? <coughs> we collect the food for the clients and help organize the food and it's really fun. Who and how many people do you serve? Well, there's more than 100 families in Reading that need help from the food pantry. Um, it's a tough economy, so there's all sorts of people there. There's single people, married couples, people with children. Um, we get all sorts of people. What do you accept for donations? Food Pantry accepts everything but the items that are most needed or items with long shelf life that won't expire right away. If the Food Pantry has extra food, they donate it to other towns that need the food, so if you don't eat food, it won't be wasted. Uh, when you have the food, how do you donate it? <coughs> There's food drives at the schools and at... Um, when you walk into supermarkets, there's collection boxes, and you also can go to the Old South Church to drop it off. Excuse me, may I ask a question? How does it feel to give back to your community? Well, Josh, I'm surprised you don't know the great feeling of giving back to your community. It's really re rewarding, and we've made um, relationships with the people that we help. Thanks, you guys give me a lot to think about. Thank you, Miranda and Mia for coming, and keep giving back to give thanks. <laughs> and before you guys go, we just want you to know that all this food is that we donate, and it's for you guys in the food pantry. And we just want to thank you how much this food means to us and how many families you're going to be helping this time of year. And before you go, we'd like uh, you guys to do the drawings of the winning people. <laughs> the first winner is Mike Appleyard. Thank you. Have a great day. Let's give a round of applause for all the teachers. After listening to those interviews, Josh, are you convinced that Thanksgiving is about giving back to give thanks? So what you seem to be saying is 
Someone, anyone, even someone like me, could bring a can of food to the food drive, or even the church, bring it in there, and drop it off, and then you would give back to your community. But I still have something to say. What about the stuff? Thank you, you may be seated. 